What is going on, YouTube? I've got a story for you today. Call it the tale of two sisters. Part one. Now, I call this part one because I've got some things going on right now that this story has nothing to do with, and I'll reveal that in a few weeks if everything continues to go the way that I expect them to go. So here you go. And, uh, and by the way, I will name drop this video, first names only, but it's necessary for this particular video for me to do so. Damn son. That's it. Damn son. That's pretty good spot. So, anyways, long time ago, many years ago, in ancient times, billions of years ago, because I'm getting fucking old. There's my co worker behind me. There he is. I'm glad he can't fucking with me. Um, I was out of town at a family reunion. Now, my family is from a small town to begin with, and uh, I thought it was pretty weird that a girl was trying to holler at me at a family reunion. The girl name was Alice. She asked me to prom, and she had another friend or cousin or whoever it was to ask my cousin who was with me also to prom. Whatever reason they liked us, I guess we were really handsome to them, looking good, big penises and everything, you know, but black, so we got that inheritance. Anyway, they asked us out, we got the numbers. I didn't make it. I didn't make it on the merit that, well, I just didn't know how to get there. Uh, the town that they are from and that we are from, I didn't remember how to get back to because it was uh, over 175 miles away. And uh, I didn't know how to get there. And I wasn't very serious about the girl, even though she was very nice. But she was nice and she was sweet. And we saw each other, so I thought, from time to time over the next, say, five to six years. And we go up there two to three times a year. So, you know, at first, it didn't take me serious. I wasn't going to deal with the long distance crap. But when I saw her, when I went to town, I would go up there and we'd hang out and drink. And eventually, I guess after about four years into it, you know, she had gotten a bit hotter. And I know it's a bit too thick. Yeah, it gotten a bit hotter and we yeah, starting to get get along better too though. Oh, man, she had ass on her. Uh, I didn't know what it was. She was just looking prettier in the face. She had seemed to do something with her hair. Just the whole appearance was totally different to what I remember. I mean, she just like seemed like she let her hair down. She just cool and got along better and I figured we just take things a little farther. Anyways, oh not only that, her parents, I loved her parents, but her parents had like a real dark sense of humor. And what I mean by dark, I mean they had a dark sense of humor. They decided one day while I uh, I went back to my town that I'm here now. They decided to tell her that we were related as a cruel joke. Because apparently someone, probably about six generations ago, after they did some digging in the family tree, found out that somewhere around, somewhere along the line, somebody married into my cousin's side of the family. And it's weird, 
because that particular side of my cousin's family had married into my mother's side of the family. But they decided to tell her that we were just straight up related. And they had her in tears. They had her crying and they had a good ass laugh behind it. That's the kind of humor that they had. But they went ahead and turned the, <laughs> they went ahead and told her the truth about it, you know, that basically there were, it's like, shit, the blood is so thin, y'all might as well not even be nowhere near related, which we basically weren't. So we somewhat dated, if you could call it that. I mean, we saw each other maybe two or three times a year. And uh, basically what ended up happening is that one day, I popped up at her house. We didn't really have cell phones. Well, we did, but I didn't have a number for her. But I remember where they stayed at, and I popped up on her. So I figured she'd be at home, she didn't have a job, and I didn't have one either. And I walked in, I'm like, hey, Alex, how you doing? And I'm looking at my girl, uh, who I thought was my girl, and her sister from across the room says, hey, long time no see. Wow, the girl that I've been dating didn't even answer. And I'm like, that's weird. I'm like, yeah, I miss you. It's been a while. She's like, oh, that's so sweet. How you been? So the girl from across the room is still talking to me while I'm kind of like glancing back at her. And I'm looking at the girl that I've been courting for these last few years. And she kind of had her head down, she's like, kind of like that. And her parents with a big old grin, like, all right, son. We didn't really want to tell you because we thought it was funny, but Alice has been gone about two years after she left high school. Said, that's Alice over there speaking to you. The girl you thought was Alice is Nikita, her younger sister. So yeah, tell the two sisters. Thought I was dating one sister, the sister that asked me out to prom. Come to find out, I'm literally dating her younger sister the whole time. And her younger sister never corrected me on the name. The parents thought it was hilarious. The sister was more embarrassed than anything, but we still talk. We still, you know, somewhat dated, if you could call it that. Because it really didn't bother me. I really didn't care. We got along so good. But I really just didn't care. But I was still shocked that it went on so long. Like four or five years into the whole thing. And I'm like, oops, wrong sister. And one of the things that had bothered me is like every time I saw her, she had this wicked scar on her arm. And I had wondered where it came from. And I never asked her. And that also explained, like, geez, why is she so hot all of a sudden? I mean, before, the, the time before I seen her, she was cute. But all of a sudden, she's got tits and ass. She got her hair different, longer. Personality seemed to change a little bit, but she's still answering the Alice. Hmm. Totally weird, totally school. Totally something that seems like it'll only happen to me. Just another thing with me. Something always going on with the guy here. That happened many years ago, hilarious. I figured I'd share that with y'all. Cause this is gonna be kind of a segue of something that's actually 
going on now which I may or may not get into depending on the next few weeks and what's going on with my life now anyways this has been story time with that black dude peace out